Hello to anyone that arrives at this video. Uh, good chance you've just bought Fruity Loops recently and you're excited to start making music and want to get orientated. So I'm going to give you a quick orientation of the startup page of Fruity Loops Studio. This is version 24.2. And this is the first page you're welcome with. I have a few template options to get started on the right hand side. So let's get started with the 808 template. And if you click on one of these, say kick, and it opens a sampler. And if you click down here, you should hear some noise. And that means everything's working right. But if you don't, click this options, go to audio settings. And make sure this is selected here, FL Studio ASIO. Uh, if you're on a Windows computer, that is. Uh, if you still don't hear anything, it might be just a quick change of this setting here of your sound output. So just make sure uh, the this is coming out of the right place. And if you still don't hear any sound, then I definitely encourage you to leave a comment. I'll try and help you the best I can. Uh, Reddit forums are really good as well, where you can upload screenshots and video. Uh, so let's get started. And one thing that's often overlooked is this hint panel. It answers a lot of questions because whatever you scroll across, it'll give a very short description of what the button does. So, uh, for instance, these four buttons here are very commonly used. Uh, the channel rack that we're looking at now is the third button. And what it does is allow us to make patterns here. Um, and you can make multiple patterns by scrolling up, uh, clicking and scrolling this pattern selector here. And then once you do make a pattern, you put it together in the playlist arrangement. I'll give you a quick demonstration. Uh, this second button here is the piano roll. So it changes the pitch, changes the pitch of whatever sound you have selected. And this is the mixer here. Ma master is over here and um, once you put something together, you can um, mix it. So, um, to give you a, a quick demonstration, we'll put together a really quick um, basic drum beat. Um, by right clicking, you can just make that every eight beats, every four beats, make the hi hat every two beats. And you can hear that drum beat, which I'm sure you've heard before. So once you put that together, you'll notice that there's pattern one in the playlist and you can click it and put it together there. And if you want to make a change, you scroll up to pattern two, you bring back the channel rack and do something different. Like that. Now you've got pattern two. You put it together. And now this is also a very important button. We're just playing the patterns now. But if we click here, now it's playing the song from the playlist. And uh, there you have it. So just by doing that, you can create a song. And that's it, that's the intro. So um, I hope this has maybe solved a problem for you or got the creative juices flowing. And again, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and like and subscribe to the channel um, to hear my own tracks. Uh, there's a couple I've already uploaded. So, um, yeah, hope to hear from you soon.